Hello and welcome back to Ireland where we are currently at war with uh, France, Great Britain, Naples and Milan and also Aragon which has gone on now for almost 15 years. But uh, that's not the funny part. The funny part is, is that Oliver Cromwell rose up and hopefully here yeah, we can help him take uh, the throne of Great Britain which will make them independent of France again and thus we can get some pretty sweet peace deals down the line. But uh, for the time being we'll be focusing mostly I think on just trying to screw them over and keep Cromwell alive so this war is basically not a conquest war it's basically just to keep or protect uh, the British pretender rebels war so it will be interesting to see how it turns out and if they uh, if they can actually break free of uh, of the French overlords and we also end up in a regency council which will last for another nine years we do have a pretty sweet air though so uh, no problems there and we'll just uh, keep on going in there and see what happens Considering how things are looking and the fact that we might actually be able to get ourselves in a positive spot, there are 5,000 pretender rebels up here, there are 26,000 here, they have sieged what now, two, six provinces, and they do have more to come. But also I'm kind of worried about how we will go with, as you can see here, uh, well, my allies more or less, because Spain is at low, they will most likely peace out soon. So I think we'll actually go for a white piece here, I think, or what they are, yeah, white piece I think. As you can see, we will be getting that one without too much fuzz. And I'm pretty sure the rebels here can screw over Great Britain even further. I have no idea how much longer it would actually take, but it shouldn't take that long. They are sieging most of their mainland provinces. Uh, Great Britain shouldn't have that much money to use either. Not any much or any kind of a fleet, if I believe, or if I'm correct here. Let's take a look here, Great Britain. There we go, they have 8,000 men, but they are overseas, I believe. And where are their... So yeah, I think I'll keep it, or keep it up for just a little while longer, and then we'll see what happens. Austria offers us an alliance by doing so. We are promised to help each other in times of war. I'll accept that one. Uh, don't really see why I wouldn't here. To turn all the Serbia and everyone else, I can't actually call them into arms or in this war. But in the next war, they'll definitely be uh, worth their weight in gold, as it were. And that should help quite a bit. I don't have an alliance anymore with uh, Burgundy. But I can with that. Uh, Austria, on the other hand, should be a lot... Well, bigger of, an, uh, bigger of an ally, stronger an ally. And the French are still basically positive here to a uh, white piece. I have no idea if I can actually force them to say hand back uh, one of these. Probably not, though. Cuneo to Savoy. They actually agree to that, so. But it's not something that I like, so I think we'll just go for a white piece, but we'll wait just a little while longer. One or two of these uh, provinces that the Spanish hold can be uh, can be seized to our benefit here. All that we are really wanting to do now is drag this out so that the pretender rebels can take Britain for uh, for themselves, and hopefully they can pull it off. Well, I guess this is my uh, cue here to leave. France accepted peace with the former enemy Spain. Spain will see the board. So basically, they took this one back. So I think it's time for me here to just white peace out while I still have the opportunity. And don't get actually screwed over. I will take some money though, because well, it was always helpful, and hopefully the uh, the pretender rebels can manage without uh, without our help. So we'll see how it goes. The end of the English Civil War. As you can see, we actually bought them enough time. The English Civil War is finally over as Oliver, the first Cromwell, and his royalists crushed the parliamentarian faction. So we have King Oliver of Cromwell age 20 and with this I actually want to do one thing here and that is proclaim a guarantee because uh, well it should help a little bit uh, to actually keep French at bay I believe they have a Kessler's Bally on the British right now which is yeah restoration of Union so it's valid for a decade not good because apparently when we attack Great Britain we'll, they'll definitely get a chance to actually end up uh, end up well attacking them more or less and that is not something that we want to do here We'll definitely be attacking with Britain though, in 5 years time, I believe I will have, no, 7 years time as, <laughs> as it turns out, so, too bad, but uh, we are basically set now to start causing some severe trouble for uh, for Great Britain, and that is also good for me. I do also have now Austria as an ally, so if the French attacks, that means that I can bring in Austria, and then the French are basically screwed here. They're still allied with Great Britain though, which I find to be a little bit surprising, but uh, at the very least now I can, I believe, start making uh, some peace deals on my own with them, hopefully. Ally with France and ally with Norway. I'm pretty sure the alliance with France will uh, will break here. We'll do a quick little check. No, 
probably not. So, well, I guess I'll have to call in uh, Austria in the next war against uh, against the British, but it should be a fun and to some extent entertaining war. And I'm really tempted to just peace out with Aragon right now because the war is going on forever and no one is apparently willing to give any gains here. So I'll just go ahead and demand that you concede defeat. Okay, so they're not even willing to do that. I'll just wipe peace out and hopefully then the Spanish will do the same. I'm doing this for two reasons. First of all, I want to try and regain some of that, uh, or lower my voice source, not gain any more than I already have. And we'll also take military technology 18, the carbine. Combo width increased by 2 and the maneuver value of my units have increased by 25%. I can also now be used leather cannon, gallop cavalry and I can also build a conscription center. All those are pretty good it seems. I can improve my fort defense, do not really want to. So we'll go ahead and upgrade our units I guess to gallop cavalry and leather cannons. And I'll also as you might imagine do some building of docks and mostly just dry docks here to and the level that comes behind because that gives you one boost to uh, or a one addition to your uh, your um, ship force limits because I really need it right now so I'll be boosting my force limits for uh, for my for my navies and we'll see how that works out but for now I'll simply wait for the research council to end we'll be doing some colonization and otherwise just uh, plain out do <laughs> do some building I guess so uh, we'll see how it turns out my allies really like to scream over here. The nation of Sweden, your faithful allies, request that you come to their aid in the Swedish conquest of Oberfalz against Russia, Austria, Würzburg, Trier, and Saxe Lauenburg. I do not want to lose my alliance with Austria, but I kind of don't want to lose my alliance with the Swedes either. I have no idea if I can actually just reinstate my alliance afterwards. I, th I kind of think that I can. They are already with at war with the Swedes, as it were. And. Yeah, I'm very conflicted here. I think I'll simply accept and hope that I can reinstate my alliance with Austria. The Austrians do have a lot of men though. And if we are to look at the total numbers of, uh, or total army numbers here, as you can see, the French, the Austrians, Swedes, and yeah, I kind of want, want to keep them both. The Russians will be a, well, they will be troublesome, but at least none of these nations are naval nations. So I won't actually have to worry about them so I'll simply accept it on the sidelines and hopefully I can hopefully I can piece my way out sooner or later so we'll see how it goes this could turn out to be kind of fun here we have the Swedish uh, new king 15 years old he's probably a general as far as I can see and he'll probably be on the Russian front line so if I'm very lucky he'll die and I'll get a union not so good though I'll have to fight the uh, <laughs> I have to fight the uh, the uh, Russians, but it should be fine even so. I guess I'll take that and loans and simply try and finish up this uh, this line here of economic ideas. So interest per annum minus one. Good if I have to take loans, kind of doubt it now with uh, the current economy, but it will be helpful nonetheless. And as you can see, the colonization is coming along pretty nicely here on the west coast, so things are looking good. We've taken into defensive idea, defensive mentality, four defense minus 33%. Not well. If we attack, it's a good one, but uh, not really that likely. Uh, this one will be, these two will be kind of more interesting to have because they'll help both on my well, reinforced speed of my armies and land attrition, and it will also help if they actually end up sieging. But as you see, Sweden is basically losing the war pretty, uh, pretty hard here. So I should probably just have to uh, or handed in my my uh, <laughs> or join up with the uh, Austrian side here as it seems, so not too great here. The Swedes haven't even gotten their armies home, so that's kind of the reason why they're losing, but uh, nothing to be done with that. We'll simply have to sit by and see what happens. The Swedes have accepted a peace with the Russians. They're losing, what, uh, three, six provinces, and they're also handing over a core to Norway, so, or a couple of cores, it seems like, so Sweden have basically been, uh, been shut down. And also just to make or add insult to injury, the uh, Austrians have set me as the rival, which kind of pisses me off, but nothing to do with that. The Spaniards still like me, hopefully, <laughs> a little luckily enough. And Aragon, still at war with Spani the Spaniards. Let's just, um, let me just tell you, this war started, what, uh, in 1609, so it's been raging for 22 years. We'll soon be uh, in the level of the, <laughs> the 30 years war, more or less. Great Britain is actually colonizing down here, which is kind of annoying, since I'll have to deal with them one way or another. So, uh, yeah. 
Um, how far are we are away from my guy or the Reese Council landing? Two years. Two years we'll actually get all until we get into war with Britain. It should be interesting to see how that actually works out because, well, I think I might actually have to try and train some armies uh, up here or simply cut down the sizes of my my native check keeping armies, I guess you should call them. I believe a thousand men should be enough, really. So we'll just we'll just lower it to that, and hopefully then I'll have enough to siege most of the British colonies. But for the time being, we'll just prepare for war, and hopefully I can pick up another ally since I've now lost both Burgundy and Austria as uh, as allies. So uh, we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. I'm currently in the process of trying to pick up the Ottomans. I kind of doubt that's a possibility, but uh, who knows? Perhaps I perhaps I can pull it off. Finally, have a new king here, Kriam Than, the third of Conondon, will now rule our glorious nation, 553, pretty good. And we do have a decent there as well, a 243, so can't complain of that score. I guess I accept the royal marriage with Brittany here, kind of needed that alliance once again. And we'll accept with the Swedes as well. Uh, I will not be taking the supply trains right away, I will be waiting until I get level 19 here. We are getting new infantry, so that's kind of... Uh, Kind of important along with supply limits, military tactics, and everything. Uh, I think I'll actually wait until we have that before I declare war on Britain, due to the fact that they are still best buds with France. Um, however, that actually works out. But yeah, I might actually have to try and get myself into a war with the with the French here, and then we'll see how uh, war French are on another scale of things, and then see if I can uh, if I can get into war with Britain. I have no idea if I were to attack Milan and that. If the French will be joining in or something like that, we'll uh, we'll have to see how it works out. And also the fact that I'm trying to placitate the Ottomans into an alliance, which seems to actually be a possibility, but I don't have the numbers in my head, so I'm not actually sure if it is. I think I'll just keep the Incas as a vassal due to the fact that I have terrible right now uh, tariffs. And as you can see, I'm over the force limits, and that makes things quite expensive. But at the very least, now I guess I can build some ships. And I guess I'll build them at home due to the fact that I have upgraded these uh, six provinces here to have shipyards. And that in its own right makes it a little bit easier to build these ships and it goes a little bit faster. So I'll build three in each which gives me about, what, 21 uh, new caravels to... I guess I'll just employ them here in London or something like that. We'll, we'll see. But for now, I'll be uh, I'll basically be building up my navy a little bit and we'll be preparing for... Well, as I said, the war against uh, Great Britain. So we'll see how it all tends to work out. The establishment of the national banks given us a reputation of seriousness and rel reliability. It has also allowed the government a much greater flexibility in raising funds for warfare. I guess we'll set. The... Let's see how what seventy two is my total income. I guess I'll set it at twelve times. That should be enough. Showing that that much trouble with loans that it has anything to say, but that point stability is uh, pretty sweet. I also have taken an idea that I didn't actually bother to tell you because it's just possible the vices plus one, not really that important. These two will be uh, quite a lot better for my economy and as such we'll just uh, keep on working I guess. It will also be interesting or hopefully I'll be able to get Gustavian infantry rather or pretty soon because that will definitely be, uh, that'll definitely be helpful. We have gotten the Gustavian Infantry, level 19, military attacks for 0 0.5, reform tertiary, Gustavian Infantry, Highlands Infantry, and I can now build a war college. Uh, pretty nice, will allow me to have an extra leader. And I'll probably build it sooner or later, but not right now. I think we'll actually go for the Gustavians here. Or I think we'll actually go for Highlanders, since we are basically British, or Irish, Scottish, everything. Um, sorry if I made a bad reference or something. My apologies, but we'll go for the Highlanders, mostly due to the fact that their shock pips are pretty strong offensively. I think that I'm a little bit confused how that system still works, but I think that's good or should help. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Kalapuya has become uh, a proper colony, and with that, our colonies are grow we're going pretty well in terms of uh, terms of colony here. I think we'll go for invest in the naval force for now, but I'm using most of my money to. Uh, on most of my diplomacy points at the time being to simply build docks and the like to as you might imagine just try and boost my my naval force limits a little bit let's see here build a dock or do I actually have to go back it yeah there we go shipyards as you can see they give a naval force limits bonus of plus one and that makes them pretty damn sweet because uh, 
I really need that if I am to continue or not move my capital over. Then I definitely need to uh, to boost my my naval force limits, and this is basically a way to do it by building shipyards. So we'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit also concerned if I should go for a naval idea. I believe there is one here that boosts the uh, yeah naval force limits modifier plus fifty percent. It's not that much, but it will help. But for the time being, I think we'll just focus on trying to uh, well make things work out here. Probably go for offensive ideas once we've uh, taken the. Uh, these defensive ones to boost our military a little bit more. I might even go for another innovative idea or administrative this. Probably religious, uh, potentially, to be able to clear a war without... Uh, in which I can make a peace deal personal with Britain. I'm pretty sure that if I were to declare a war right now, Great Britain... They do have 30,000 men though, but even so, France has 89. So the French would definitely be the ones who uh, would dictate the terms of the deal. So until that, or until a later point, or when the alliance break or something like that, I'll simply have to wait and see. Because they, do, they don't actually have any strong allies, but they'll still be an annoyance to deal with. And the Spanish armies are apparently not strong enough to handle the French. So I guess I'll just have to, uh, have to prepare myself for the worst. I currently have war with Russia. Wait, 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 wait. I see my moment of opportunity. More or less here. Yeah. They are war with Russia. Austria, and whom else? Genoa, Tuscany, and Hungary. Basically now is our opportunity. I have no idea what this war is all actually about. Attacking in Russia and the French conquest of Sardinia. So the French decided that they wanted to go after Genoa and thus brought in Russia, Austria, and the whole shebang. So what we are going to do is going to try and take advantage of that by, well, declaring war on, uh, on Great Britain. So we'll wait a month just to try and boost my... Uh, well, just to try and boost my, uh, actually for this, try to boost my morale, that's the word I was looking for, morale. I'm boosting my morale up one month, and then we will be declaring war on, uh, on Great Britain here. We'll be, as you see, they will call upon Norway and France, they will call upon themselves, and we'll be aiming to take Cornwall, I think, here. And we'll also call all willing allies, Britain and Spain. Should work out just fine. Swedes don't want to join up, even though they could have gotten revenge on Norway. I guess I can understand that, so uh, no hard feelings. And there we go. War has been declared, and it should definitely be fun. Uh, where is my. There they are. Park, please. Before the British catch you. Well, I wouldn't want. Or well, you shouldn't actually park in British lands, I think, but I would just go home and park. And we'll. Hunt down the British army. I'm pretty sure it's actually in uh, in India of all places, so shouldn't be that much of uh, of a problem. So we'll see how this goes. It should be a victory, but uh, who knows? And while I'm at it, I have gone far beyond my time. I just realized my apologies. Uh, we'll just end it here, and we'll fight the war against Great Britain and France next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.